Good morning, Cornerstone. Robert here with this week's Wednesday Reflection. I pray you've had a great Christmas season full of celebration of and reflection on Christ coming to earth. We've studied about Christ coming to earth through the first chapters of Matthew's Gospel. And to bookend that, Jesus' last words in the same Gospel are familiar to most of us, the Great Commission. In Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20, Jesus instructs us, All authority in heaven and earth have been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Cornerstone, we're at a time of year when many of us are making resolutions for the new year. If you're like me, most of these resolutions are internally focused in nature. Uh, things like eating better, or exercising more, reading more, maybe learning a new skill, stopping bad habits and beginning new ones. Now in and of itself, these are all good ideas. But Cornerstone, let me challenge you this year to include resolutions that are of an eternal nature in light of the coming of our Lord and Savior to this earth. In the new year, get plugged into one of the weekly Bible studies or seek to intentionally disciple and be discipled. Or maybe set aside time on a regular basis for outreach activities. Begin a new habit this year that will pay dividends into eternity. As I've thought about some words of encouragement, I've thought about Paul's letter uh, to the church in Thessalonica. In chapter 3 of his first letter to the Thessalonians, Paul writes in verses 12 and 13, May the Lord cause you to increase and overflow with love for one another and for everyone, just as we do for you. May he make your hearts blameless in holiness, before our God and Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all the saints. Amen. And Paul continues, Finally then, brothers, we ask and encourage you in the Lord Jesus, that as you have received from us how you must walk and please God, as you are doing, do so even more. Later in chapter 4, Paul continues, Now as to the love of the brethren, you have no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves are taught by God to love one another. For indeed, you do practice it toward all the brethren who are in Macedonia. But we urge you, brethren, to excel still more and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life and attend to your own business and work with your hands just as we commanded you so that you will behave properly toward outsiders and not be in any need. As we are a church that seeks to change lives through the truth of God's word and the love of God's people, church let me encourage you, excel still more in how to walk and please God, and to live your life in light of the great gift of salvation that God the Father has provided through the Son, Jesus Christ. May the upcoming year be filled with blessings and opportunities to glorify our Lord. Until next time, Cornerstone.